Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We are approaching the one year mark since Xavier Harrelson went missing from his home in Montezuma. It would be four months before his remains were found in a farmer's field. Today, orange ribbons still line the streets of Montezuma in Xavier's honor. And tonight, Local 5's John Diaz has the latest on the investigation and how the community is looking back on the days following his disappearance. It was a very, very cold, cold, rainy night. We knew something was up for sure. On May 27, 2021, 10-year-old Xavier Harrelson went missing from the small town of Montezuma. People were going to all different sections of town and just trying to to locate him. Xavier was nowhere to be found almost immediately, his disappearance hitting the community hard. Scared, panicky, um, angry, like we went through the whole gamut of emotions. By that time, law enforcement was involved in the search. We immediately hit the community, hit the immediate area around his residence. And by the following weekend, on what would have been Xavier's birthday, a massive search effort with hundreds of volunteers, but still nothing. It certainly was frustrating. It, it was heartbreaking, you know, but it didn't deter our efforts. Eventually, Xavier's remains would be found in a field along this gravel road west of town. But today, the search for answers continues. We still have personnel, agents, and deputies assigned to it, constantly evaluating old information, you know, a little bit of new information coming in. Investigators say there is information they can't share, like how Xavier died or if there are any suspects. But they do say they still need the public's help. Someone or people out there that know what happened, um, if, you know, we, we implore them to come forward with any information. Meanwhile, a community anxiously waits. You know, I get, um, you know, feeling the urgency that we need, you know, to have a resolution here. 